Hey viewers and today we're going to be doing the app for Habit Bud. My name is Roy, I'm a web designer and if you do find the content useful please leave a like, leave a comment, hit the notification bell, subscribe and let's get into the video. Okay so today's task is a pretty meaty one or a pretty big one because we're going to do quite a few screens for the app um, but we're going to aim for five the last two i'm going to leave that in the open to you i'm going to do that behind the scenes um, but in the meantime i'm just creating a nice to-do list so this is kind of the user journey where you can have the loading screen the list page which is like the timetable a detail page which is the habit checklist like doc diary a reminder screen with the character so every time there is a, a lesson or a task the habit buddy will will appear and remind the uh, the child to do the uh, lesson or challenge and then there's an overview at the end of the day to see how you've done a tiny bit of gamification with with points and then what you can do with that is you can unlock characters and things like character customization. So quite a lot to think about, but we're going to keep it really simple. Again, the whole mantra of the of the channel is start small, practice daily. Don't worry about it being perfect. So what we're going to do straight away, we are going to hit the F key and we're going to start with an iPhone 11. Now, iPhone SE is probably more ideal for a child, but of course it depends. So iPhone 11 for a child is a bit much, but again, this is just practice. So, but maybe there are kids that have an, an iPhone 11 Pro. I don't even have an iPhone 11 Pro. Um, but anyway, let's keep it simple. So we're going to keep it even more real by putting in a border radius of 40. Now, just to show something here, there is such a there's a thing called safe zone. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to quickly just do it. So at the top, you have a thing called status bar. This is in particular with iOS. So if I do shift A and the height of this status bar is, is 44 pixels. And we are then going to give it a width of 375. We are also going to fill it with light gray. We're going to align it to the left and to the top. Okay, so you've got that status bar, which is like the time and the battery life. So you can't put anything up there. And then next one after that is going to be the navigation bar so i'm just going to be really quick and say nav bar that is also 44 pixel height and then at the bottom let's go right to the bottom you also have the home visual indicator so we just say home indicator this is that little line that you got going across and that is a smaller height so let's just go into the and that height i believe is 34 pixels and we just make sure that's right at the bottom and then after that if we minus 34 to be totally crazy accurate this is 49 height and this oops, let's just drag it up and this is the tab bar so we're not going to actually do all of these. We just, I'm just showing you there's such a thing as a safe zone and you're not going to put certain items within these areas. And let's just give these a slightly darker gray. And then last but not least is the side margin, which, which is 16 pixels just to be aware of this. Uh, so if I just bring it up, so it's kind of like 
kind of like the safe zone, yeah. So you might not be aware of this, but yeah, this is a good foundation to start from. So we're just going to copy everything and paste it. What we're going to do is we're just going to hide these. And also what we're going to do actually is we're going to group everything. So Command G. And then we are also going to, yeah, we'll just keep it there for now. So the very first screen is the loading screen. And to do that, we're just simply going to get the logo. And let's say we just very simply going with, we're not even, yeah, we're just going with the big icon and ooh, let's close these other ones down. So, okay, so the next screen we're going to do is the loading screen. So we're just going to go back to the logo. We're just going to copy this one here. Command C. Oop. And then we go back to app. What we're going to do is we're going to use this a lot. So what I'm going to do is just quickly put this in the correct, because it's not correctly. If I just drag that over. I'm not sure. Okay. That's in the same group. And I'll just say logo. Drag that out of that group. And I'm just going to command C, command V. Drag across. And then we are just going to go in. And well, as an example, if we go here, you can see did that go right in the middle? Nice. So that's the loading screen. We're not going to get into animation right now, but you can imagine that I'd feel this it kind of fill up just to add a bit of animation as kids do love that. Um so for example, we could command C command V, we can group that. We can add a use as a mask. We could then just for example bring a rectangle and and then what we can just simply say is okay if we make that white for example probably not the best example but you can imagine that when it's first loading it's gonna it's gonna go like this so it's just a quick example and I'm gonna hide that so that's the loading screen very simple and then the next thing to do is the list page, which is the timetable. So straight away, I'm just going to actually copy that one. And straight away, we just go in here in the save zone and say time table. We're using the Atkinson hyperlegible. We're starting off with, let's say we go 16 pixels. And what we're going to then do is, well, let's say the base one is 18. So we do have children. And do we want to make that bigger? Let's say 24. This is kind of, this is, yeah, an important heading. So from there, it will go right to the edge, actually, plus 16. And also what we're going to do is we hit the T. Here we're going to say Monday, and we are just going to change this to the logo font, which is shirk hand. And by default, I've actually got the ligature on. So if I just minus that, and did that work? Get rid of the ligature. There we go, because the A and the D was too close. And what we're going to do is make this bigger. So 32 on the eight point grid. And what we're going to do again is we're going to introduce another item, which is like the checkbox, but this is also going to act as a, an indicator on if they've completed it. So let's say that this is around 
72. And there's only going to be five days, so it straight away is going to land on the actual day. Um, and of course, it's not perfect, so I'm just thinking of the day that they're on. It's just going to show a list of that week. So you can say it's like week one, for example. So if I just... And the nice thing about this, the, um, what did they call it? The ellipse tool. Is you can go here, the arc, you can just drag it across. And we are just imagining the, it's a, like a chart on what they completed. Like maybe 10 tasks out of 10 or, sorry, like 8 out of 10 as an example. And then what you can do is we can drag the ratio and we're going to go right down to 100 and we actually give this a stroke on the center of 8 pixels and we're going to make it round nice and round and friendly okay now let's see how that looks at 4 okay so maybe 8 will be good enough okay nice and then the other thing we're going to put in there is the is the tick. So there's different states of this. So you've got the, the one that's empty and the one that has been done. So actually I should have had a full one. Anyway, I'll paste that in. Can't see anything. So when they've actually done it, we're going to match it with the color. So if I start with rows and we can then constrain it, and if we give a height of 72, okay, that is too big, so let's say 48. Okay, that's that's probably better. Now, is that too much? So let's say 40. Okay, I think 40 is good. So, what we're going to then do is we are going to group it. And we're going to center these. So that is by eye, that doesn't seem to be, I just tapped it up maybe once or twice. Okay, so this is like the list item. This is grouped. And here, if I was to just drag it, okay, it doesn't seem to join it. Let's try it again. Yeah, if I just dragged it across, it will it will constantly you can you can adjust it. So if, if I were to change the sweep, I mean that is pretty nice. So anyway, if I select both Shift A and then spacing between is sixteen vertically aligned, we now have our our item, our list item. And we want to put this to the left by 16 pixels, but the circle goes out. And to be honest, I'm not 100% sure if that is going to work, but we can just adjust it like so. So now it's at 20 pixels. We could probably give this more space, so let's say 24. And we're going to pretend that they've done Monday. So let's see. So we're going to introduce colors again. We're going to start with rows. We're doing the white, the light version as well. And here we are then going to just again play around with the sweep. We're also going to say that is rows. We can do gradients as well. Okay. Okay. So that seems pretty good. So if I was just to, if I was to group that and then Command C, Command V, bring that to the group and then turn that into an auto layout, Shift A, and then stack it by clicking here. 
and and the spacing between let's say 16 pixels that's probably too tight 24 and now you've got Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday so five days when can I even spell Wednesday Wednesday gosh Thursday and Friday okay so probably did a lot of work there for myself because I should have the default one so anyway the default one is just going to be gray so let's say gray 300 and there is no tick now actually I'm going to have to do this for all of them so if I go in here just put the sweep, join it, and actually, let me, oh, actually, yeah, let's see if I can then go in, copy, replace that one. Yes, I can, nice. And then delete. So again, it's just practice, right? It's already nearly 20 minutes, so this one might be a longer video. Delete that, paste. We just need to change the order so left select left select and left okay do we want to stick to one color Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday we want to make it a bit colorful my daughter said why not have a rainbow so I'm granting her wish just to add some color so we're gonna go a bit of fun right it needs to be for kids so red kind of everything red we're going to then go down, so purple. This one can be, we are going to go blue. Could go from hot to cold, couldn't you? Could have done that, so maybe we, sh maybe we should. So let's go to orange, orange 500. Yeah, kind of going backwards. And then we go to green. And then we go to blue. Don't even know the, the order of the rainbow, to be fair. And lastly, we go purple. Okay. It's quite nice and colorful and just to what we're going to do as well is we're going to hide all that stuff below lock it hide it so now you can see how clean it is without all of those okay and then here we just does that need to be bold it's the heading well, we can leave it as bold for now. So now we have done the, we have done the list page, which is the timetable. And can the contrast be better? I think that's okay for now. And then the next screen we're gonna do is the detail page. Now this is practically the same as this but this is all the lessons they have in the day so I'm going to say Monday but we can't have this one anymore because it's going to get smaller and it'll be hard to read so one lesson we got here is let's say maps but we're going to do Atkinson because we're going to reduce these we're going to go regular we're going to go 24 pixels. Should they be bold? And we're also going to bring these smaller. So let's say 48 by 48. Is that big enough for the child to hit? I think it is. So, well, really, they're not. Yeah, it's just a checkbox. They're not actually going to hit that. They're going to hit their buddy to say that they've done it. Or not hit, tap it. Uh, but anyway, 
so we can also reduce that because that's a bit too big let's say four okay so now this is another indicator that they've actually done uh, they have done their first thing and that first thing is register again we just go to Atkinson and we're saying 24 regular but this time we're not going to go are we going to go crazy with colors it might be too colorful right so again we're just going to go dark gray okay and we're also going to go do the same so that is 48 by 48 and we're going to make the stroke Ooh. I do that correctly. Four. So they've done, they've done register, but that is actually going to be full. So we're then going to just go into the ellipse. We're going to then change the sweep. Okay. There we go. If we just delete these. It's not on Monday, it's actually on Tuesday now. And we'll just copy these, right? So there's quite a few lessons. And we're straight away going into the tab bar, and this will have to be a scroll area. So again, we're keeping it simple. We're not doing everything so perfect. And just looking at a timetable. So after register and maths, there is a break time. After break time, there is English, and then you have exercise, and then you've got lunch, and then you have a project, and then you have a break time, and there's actually a couple more after that, okay? So... This is the list page, the detail page. Well, this is another list page, to be fair. And the last thing they have is they have a reminder screen and the overview at the end of the day. Okay, so. If I actually do the overview. So an overview, we're going to do that scratch we're just going to copy that and paste and we're just going to lock everything command g lock and hide and what this one's going to be is again it's just going to be something very similar to this so paste it let's see dead in the middle and this is just like an overall at the end of the day, how they've done, what points they've accumulated. So each thing they tap or they've done is a point. So again, we're not going to be super accurate, but let's bring this up to, let's make this a bit bigger, one, two, eight. And they're going to get a nice tick on there, which is the red one. This is going to basically animate. We're going to have some of the text on there saying well actually we don't want the tick we want you can have the tick we'll see but we'll have a score of 10 well according to that to that one there is like looks like nine out of ten so they've done nine out of ten things and if we go back here atkinson we're not making it oh italic looks quite nice doesn't it dynamic it's fast it's moving maybe italic or regular yeah let's keep it regular 32 nice and clean you got nine out of ten just say well done bird and we'll use the other one for that so we are on 25 minutes i wonder why the ligature set so 
if I go here, you can see that the kerning on the, the D and the O. If we get rid of that, or oh, yeah, we actually have to select all of it, go back again. The ligature is set to nothing. Oh, actually, sorry, horizontal pair. There we go. You got well done, bud. And then we're going to have a bit of gamification or, you know, an incentive to unlock a reward. Now, I might be cruel. So let's say get, get, let's say 30, get 30 points. We're going to go back to Atkinson. Wow, I really do like the italic. It's very legible. So why not try italic? Get 30 points to unlock characters okay they might love this there's different characters female characters you could think of maybe horror character there seems to be a horror theme that they love they could be a vampire or something like that and these could be center aligned or they could be left aligned so get 30 points to unlock characters And then from there, I think that is pretty simple enough. And I, ha I haven't even thought too much about the CTAs or, or what they do, right? It could be a nice done button, for example. So we are just going to, we're not going to do everything perfect again, but the other Thing we have to do is let's say that they are on Tuesday they could either tap on Tuesday it will take them to this screen but when they actually have a schedule which is going to align with a schedule a time their body is going to appear okay so we'll just copy this and here we're just gonna get rid of these coming up to 30 minutes so you can go back to the website and I've been playing around with some faces I haven't done them perfectly but again we're just gonna we're gonna copy that fellow over there we're gonna go back to the app and there he is he's made an appearance and he will either have a voice or he will either, well, probably both, right? So you'll say, you could say something like maths time or time for maths. There could be lots of different emotions. So he could look worried, for example. So again, we're keeping this very simple. You can make that bold. Again, we do shift A and we are going to make it a fill of white. We're going to give this, yeah, if we go to the background, right, let's give it dark. Give it dark, yeah. And again, we are going to say linear. We're going to go from dark to light. And then what we're going to do there, time for maths. Is that too big? It probably is. So let's say 24. We are also going to we are also going to play around with the padding. So let's say 24, 24, 8, and 8. We are going to go to the line height. We're going to say a line height 28, 32. Ooh, why is the height not being fluid? Oh, so I'm doing the wrong one. So let's just keep that as auto. Let's say that as 32. There we go. 
48 divided by 2 is 24, I hope. Okay, so time for maths. Now, depending how they're holding the phone or if they have it placed somewhere, the area that they're going to usually go for is down here. But what we're going to do, we're just going to have it like you can see, it would appear up here. Again, we're going to add the effect of that nice glow. And actually, we need to make this probably bigger because we want the hit area to be nice and big. It's at 48, so that's not too bad. But what we can do is play around with the line height. So 40, and now we're making it 56. 56 divided by 2 is 28. We're also going to make the padding on the left and the right. 32 again it might not make sense to make it too big because you've got all these these longer text so we just keep it like that time for maths and it might not be obvious but you just tap the screen your body will be happy and then it will come back here uh, to say that you've checked in on your maths so again this is not super 100% worked out but once you get into the details, you can iron it out, you can do a proper flow. And just to make it a bit more clear, we can have a little, well, it's a button. So I think we'll keep it at that for now, keep it simple. Okay, so this could be center aligned, it could be left aligned. So yeah, we have our very simple buddy or habit bud so in the background i'm going to do some extra bits and pieces but hopefully this is a good practice project and we're on 33 minutes so yeah i hope you did enjoy the project and or the video let me know how you're getting on leave a comment leave a like hit the notification bell subscribe and i'll see you in the next video